Uh, so let's look at the, the bcrypt method. So with bcrypt uh, we have uh, the concept of having salt with the hash of a password. Okay, so we're focusing on one-way one hash methods where it's possible to only go one way and it's extremely difficult to reverse it back mathematically. So with the hash signature uh, we take our text or our data and then we create a hash signature for it. One change in any of the letters or the bits even and we create a completely different hash signature. MD5 is a popular hash signature and it gives a 128 bit signature. 128 bits it gives us 32 hex characters. Uh, so we see it uh, in Windows NT hashes with MD4 and we also see it in Cisco devices with an MD5 password. The problem with uh, hash signatures is it's possible for an intruder to build up a, a rainbow table which hashes well-known words into their hash format so the intruder really just has to look up the table and match the words and they can reverse back what the word actually was. It is also possible to have collisions within an MD5 and, and to different words can actually produce the same hash signature. What we normally do is that we add a bit of ha uh, salt to the MD5 signature. We add some text and some random text and then we put the, the text with the random text and we salt it. This will produce a number of different hash signatures. So let's have a look at uh, bcrypt. So bcrypt is a good example of creating a hash signature with salt. So what we should find is that uh, if we use something like MD5 and we use our message. Okay, so that every time we hash that we will always get the same value. What can also happen is that uh, it's fairly easy for an intruder to be able to then determine the original word using a hash table. So let's try this one to see if we can reverse it back. There we go. Okay, so that managed to do it in a few seconds. So bcrypt is an excellent method to be able to hash our password with some salt. So in this case we define the salt value and then the encrypted uh, hash signature and every time that we hash we should get a different hash value. Okay, So in the code itself uh, we have used the dev1 components to be able to import bcrypt and then from bcrypt we just basically uh, generate a salt value. The salt value is added to the message to create our hash password and then the hash password really becomes the salt value plus the hash signature. Okay, So this shows uh, a very powerful bcrypt technique.